will see that there's an erosion in our competitiveness and our competitive standing. That is geo-competitively. If I look nationally at where we're going, we're creating a permanent underclass. So it used to be the case that education afforded us the opportunity to realize the American dream. Today, it's so stratified that a significant percentage of our population will never realize the American dream because there's an abject failure in those who today have been responsible for investing in education. We spend 35 to $37 billion a year in New York City education. If I look at the latest nation's report card on the performance of black and brown students in the city, I would say 60 to 70% are below proficient. So I look at that and, that and the returns, $37 billion, we need new investors. We just have to make certain that people recognize that education is fundamental to the realization of the American dream, the promise of the American dream, the hope. Without education, people have no hope. And we can see that being played out in, American, in urban America, can't we? Average age of the trigger fuller is somewhere between 12 and 16 years old. So that means the kids who don't have hope, I can't read, I can't write. I can't participate in mainstream society, and therefore my value of life is going to be different, isn't it? How dangerous is illiteracy in America today? Illiteracy today reflects the abject failure of those who are leading in the educational world. And so we need to be urgent. Now, the challenge that we have is it doesn't poll. It's not hitting any polls, right? So there are other things here that poll at a much higher rate, at a much higher level, with much higher level of attention than what we see in the world of education. It is fundamental to who we are. And in the Brown versus Board decision, the Supreme Court held that segregated education was inherently unequal. We're now as segregated, if not more segregated, than we were then. So isn't what's at risk here the American dream? A permanent underclass of those who will never realize, never have the promise, the opportunity to realize the American dream? That's why it's imperative that I get new investors.